Hey everyone, I hope you're all doing well. Today I wanted to discuss how I hand brush lacquer paints using this 135th scale Sturm Coffer kit from Kyoto. This will be a full hand brush finish. Lacquer paints are a fun and sometimes risky way of painting things, but after some time they become easier to work with. So here I have the kit in raw plastic and textured surfaces. I will be painting the kit essentially whole. Here and there, I do have some parts separate when needed though. Starting off with Mr. Color 33 Flat Black and my favorite old worn brush. Starting off fast and loose. Basically, the idea is to just get the color on the model. I like to use tapping and jabbing motions using the randomness of the brush's bristles to my advantage. I use this brush and method for a majority of the work as I build up the main colors. I decided to use this leftover orange paint I had as one of the undercolors. Again, just tapping randomly over the model. With these steps, there's no need to be precise since these colors will be covered by later layers. Now, I didn't have enough to cover the whole model, but that was okay since I planned on using this custom color of browns and reds that I had left over. Um, essentially, this just ended up being propeller color. <laughs> This color I ended up painting more thoroughly and getting almost the same coverage as the black paint earlier um, while letting some of the orange show through. You can see I'm still using the same brush, same motions, going through and smoothing and touching up different areas. I do switch to the smaller brush for these smaller surfaces around the cockpit. I wasn't too worried about getting paint on the window as it could be easily cleaned up with alcohol or lacquer thinner. And adding some cowling color to the gray dish, painting the engine sections underneath. And another recycled color. This time I used the pink color I whipped up from a past project. Um, this was the final undercoat before starting the main color. So do you think we could call this Grim cute? Uh, I had discussed with the Salty Robot on Instagram about how we enjoy the cuter take on things with MAK. Um, Dark and muted is cool, obviously, but some color and silliness is good for us. Um, not everything has to be so serious.
lavender colors are done. Once we start adding the main color, we will take advantage of lacquer paint's unique properties of not curing. Gray violet, extra violet. I decided to make a custom mix of Mr. Color MS Purple and Mr. Color RLM 75 Gray Violet using the leftover pink in the dish. Um, I went back and forth at first with mixing the colors until I decided on what looked right, adding more and more MS Purple as I went. Continuing to use the same big brush I have used for a majority of the work so far. Um, this will be a part where we start to kind of tighten things up a little bit. This being the main color, we will want a more adequate amount of coverage, so using different types of brushes will help aid in this. Here I am stepping down to a double zero size brush to get those small spaces around the cockpit again. Thankfully, lacquer paints can be sanded, so I used this nail buffing pad to smooth some of the bubbles that had formed on the model. Next, I started to use this worn medium round brush um, just to get into all of those crevices and tight sections while still achieving a little bit of randomness throughout. I also thinned the paints a little heavier here um, and I begin to kind of brush randomly around the different surfaces of the model. That lacquer thinner is reactivating some of these paints and that helps add variation and an interest to the model that I enjoy. Here is 
is the end result. Um, it is looking a little rough, but as we move along, we will begin to focus on the details more, and of course, the weathering will help blend everything together. Thanks for joining me today, friends, and I hope that you were able to enjoy my ramblings and my nonsense. Um, in the next video, we will be going over painting the details of the kit, so I do hope you join me next time. Happy modeling, everyone. Thank you.